Okay, so once we've polygonal modeled our building, the next step is to texture it. So to do this, we're going to need images of the side of the building. So ideally, you'd have captured some images on your phone or using a camera. However, for this example, I'm just going to use Google Street View. So we'll quickly have a look at the side of the building. So we're going to want to get this image from here and then put it onto the side of our shape. So I find the best way to do that is to use PowerPoint. If we go insert, go screenshot then we can use this screen clipping tool so once we've done that we'll just drag over the image and you'll notice that there's a lot of space around the outside of this that isn't part of the building there's a tool in city engine that will crop that in a second so all we do is right click save picture as and then we're just gonna save this we can name it, uh, give it a reasonable name. And I'm going to do it as a JPEG. You can either use PNG or JPEG uh, in order to do this. OK, now we're back into City Engine and we can see in my project folder inside images, I've saved my front.jpg. I can right click on this and I've got the crop image option towards the bottom. If I click on that one, that will open up the crop image tool. The image on the left is my original with all of this space around the outside of the building that I want to get rid of. Uh, we can see this little box with the corners. So I'm just going to drag and drop this. Uh, not drag and drop. I'm going to drag this to the corners of the building. Like so. Try and crop out some of that glare. Okay, once I've done that, we'll see we've got the file path of the original image, and then on the top right, we've got the file path of the cropped image. It's going into the same folder, so my project folder, the images folder, and then front underscore cropped.jpg. So we're just going to leave that as the default and press finish. And it's worth mentioning now that if you were doing a lot of buildings over a large area, uh, you might want to pay attention to the, you know, the file management, the data management, and perhaps create subfolders within this images folder for all your different buildings and name them up quite logically. However, it's very important not to change the folder structure or the folder names once you've textured the buildings, um, because that will cause an issue. Okay, so to texture the building, we can have the select tool. We're going to click to select the entire shape. And then we'll click one more time just to select one wall. And we've got a choice. We can drag and drag and drop, or we can use this texture shapes button. So I'll press that. And I'm just going to make sure I've selected the correct image. So I don't want the one uh, with all the sky and the grass. I want front underscore cropped. I'm going to open that. And then we've got some orientation settings. So I can orientate globally or locally. I can uh, rotate through different angles and then I can either flip the images, I can stretch it to the whole polygon which is what I want to do um, or I can repeat it. So if I just had some images for some brickwork or tiles perhaps I would want to do horizontal or vertical repetitions. Good idea just to have a play with these settings. I'm going to press assign to assign the image and then close. And you notice sometimes nothing happens. Uh, I think this is just a bit of a bug in 2019.1. If nothing happens at this stage, just select one of the drawing tools, draw a shape onto your building, and then press Control Z, get rid of your shape, and you're left with the image. I think that's a bug on 2019.1. Uh, I don't remember it on 2017.1, and hopefully it's been resolved for the, the newer version. So there we go. So we've gone to Street View, we've selected an image, uh, screenshotted it into PowerPoint. We've then used the crop tool within City Engine to crop out all the grass and the sky, and we're left with this texture. So I'm going to go ahead and texture up the rest of the building and the roof. Uh, I'll let you have a little practice and then stay tuned for future videos. Thanks for listening.